today we are going to be cleaning my messy dirty house i just got done cleaning it actually so i'm filming the intro at the end but um pretty much my house wasn't totally crazy messy from what it normally would be for a video like this if you're used to watching these videos from me you know that my house can get pretty messy pretty quickly so um it's not like crazy overly messy it was just like really dirty i had to do all the floors all the surfaces vacuum wash things do my cushion covers bedding like had to just do all the nitty gritty wash the cabinets and just just really clean it out wait till you see my fridge so much moldy food and so much stuff that i had to pitch so um i'm gonna show you how i clean today give you a little cleaning motivation and inspiration ruben and i are going to be going on a trip to wisconsin for the next week so i wanted to make sure that my house was nice and fresh and clean because there is nothing like going on a trip and coming back home and your house is just fresh and empty and just I'm really looking forward to that part of our trip, like the coming home part and coming into a nice clean bed, a nice clean house. There's just nothing like it. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how I clean my house today, show you the before and after. I hope you guys enjoy and get a little motivation from this. Uh, please subscribe and let's get started. So in the kitchen, it's just a bunch of just misplaced stuff. I've got dishes to do, some boxes that I have to open, some mail, you know, all the same stuff. I feel like my kitchen always looks, it, or it can look messy pretty fast, but it's a decently small kitchen. So I feel like it gets dirty pretty fast. And this is, um, this is actually not our front door. I get asked all the time. This is our back door, but my husband was building the house with his dad. They got a good deal on this door and it actually fits perfectly in here and brings in so much light. I wouldn't have it any other way way but I always get asked why I have a big front door in my kitchen I kind of like forget that it's weird but that's the story on that anyways yeah pretty much all all of the stuff you see here gotta do the dishes um I think I have do I have clean ones in here or no the dirty is already started um I just bought fall candles yes already don't come for me but yeah just doing all of the surfaces I've got to sweep and vacuum one of my favorite things to do is to vacuum this rug because it gets so dirty so fast you can see like look at that all of you can see like this but I don't know if that's a spider web or if it's just dust I think it's just dust and hair collecting look in here that's all dog hair got her dog food bowls that need to be washed she will get like her dog food like on the walls so i need to wash the wall um i'll throw this out this is where i have like my coffee i need to clean my coffee pot too i need to run some like vinegar through it so it gets all cleaned out and then here in the fridge we've got so much just so much food that has either gone bad or it's leftovers like this piece of chicken breast that i made a week ago and now it's probably bad because it sat in here for a week that one back there as well just um you know i i think that lime and that jalapeno i think they're they might have a little bit of time left i think maybe i won't throw those out so that is the fridge that is the kitchen and i always love starting in the kitchen i don't know why it just feels like this is where i spend a lot of my time so and the kitchen and the living room mainly just to get get the main floor pretty much done because this is the majority of the main floor so i'm gonna start here let's go yeah here's to the good days to the sorrows if this is a mistake i know about tomorrow i don't want to fight no more because i don't feel the need no more no just want to make it stop maybe it's something in the water or maybe we just hit the end of the road right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to live
So the kitchen is finally clean. It feels so good. I actually vacuumed all of the floors and washed them with the um, Bona cleaner or whatever. And they just look really nice and like soft, which normally they just get kind of like grimy because this is a very like high traffic area. But I cleaned the stove, all of the countertops. I cleaned inside of the microwave I didn't do inside the oven but that's another day I also found like there's like a ton of grime up here which I need to hit this again because it was <laughs> really caked on I just never really noticed it until today I think the Sun was hitting it just right so I'll save that for another day but I did tackle a little bit of it today so all of this is nice and clean it feels so good in here um, beautiful rugs. Then all of this, all of the dishes are done. They're actually done in there as well. I need to empty those, but it feels so good and empty in here. Um, the biggest change is the refrigerator. Pretty much everything in here was old and moldy. So I had to toss a lot of like half eaten food. Um, so all we really have in here is like a little bit of ground beef, some steaks that I'm thawing from the freezer and then some chicken breasts and cheese. But um, <laughs> yeah, so all of that's cleaned and organized and emptied. I cleaned all of these in the sink. Um, I washed all of the trays and everything. So. Everything just got a nice good wipe down and clean out. All of this is nice and clean and organized. So it just feels so good in here. I also, I should have, well, I didn't need to show it before, but our freezer is also cleaned out really nicely. This was like overflowing for so long and Look, at, I've got all of pretzels food stacked up so nicely and organized. This freezer used to be so overflowing that like we had stuff stored even where the ice is. And now we've got like this extra space and it's just like vegetables and meat. So it feels good to have a nice, clean, organized fridge and freezer. So um, here is the kitchen. Oh, also down there, all of the fuzzies are gone. Yes, all of this nice and washed and cleaned. And over here by the dog stuff, um, I cleaned her bowls and the walls and the floor and everything. And it just, it's, it feels so good in here. In my living room, we have a really messy and unorganized couch, but I actually, before I make this couch and like fluff it up and stuff, I wanna take off all of 
the cushion covers so I can go wash them. I just put them in my washing machine and they come out really good. And then I use this little shaver to get all of the like pilling off of the couch. This couch tends to do that because it's like a linen material. But that's where I'm gonna start so that these um, cushion covers can wash while I'm cleaning everything else. We got a little dog here. <laughs> I need to vacuum this rug because she will tear apart her little blanket and it gets pieces everywhere. Um, this is a, a puzzle that I completed last weekend and so I had it just sitting here all week just to admire my work. So puzzles are weird. I really enjoy them and hate them at the same time because they're so frustrating, but then also it's like, what do you do with it? And in that box there is a puzzle table so that it doesn't have to just like sit out here all the time. And when you're working on it, there's like drawers for pieces and it's actually pretty cool. I got it on Amazon, so we'll see. Yeah, you're probably like, I don't give a shit about your puzzle, but that's what's in that box. Um, yeah, so here's my puzzle. Pat me on the back. Um, I gotta wash this table. This is like socks that she finds and then she destroys them. So then they're her toys. Her toys are everywhere. She is like a toddler. Do you see this? This is all from her because she rips apart her blanket. It's her hump blanket. And then just pieces are everywhere. Toys, 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 toys. This is her toy basket. So just, I mean, this is like what I do every day, multiple times a day. Just put her toys back in her bin. Look at, she completely destroyed my bin. That's the living room. It's really, it, it looks really like a disaster, but it's not that awful. It's just the couch gets messy. You know it's kind of funny How a room full of things Feels completely empty When you're not in the How could I have known the fortune I would find a piece deep in my bones the beauty day and night and you may anywhere feel like home home is where we
now clean. Um, pretzel is there underneath the blanket. I cleaned all of the cushion covers so it smells so good in here. Vacuum the floors. Um, we really want to get a different rug for in here. Neither of us are really a fan of this so if you can recommend a rug please let me know. I don't know what color but this is ugly and we don't like it. <laughs> And then this space is all clean. I do have some mail and some books there, but other than that, everything else is clean. That's usually just like our catch-all space for random stuff. Um, my sunglasses, Ruben's sunglasses. I had a friend over last weekend and she left her sunglasses, so they're just sitting there. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything else is clean. Also, over here, I really want to do a gallery wall with picture frames. I was thinking of getting two shelves and then putting the frames on the shelves and leaning them against the wall and kind of overlapping them. I'll include a picture so you can see my inspiration idea for it. So let me know your thoughts. But I was thinking that could look really good right there on that wall. What do you think? Okay, so then in this bathroom, I was going to turn the light on, but I feel like the lighting is actually better when it's not on because it goes really warm but i need to clean the mirror in here it's got spots on it put away this stuff boys i need to fill this and i think i want to make some like diy soap i gotta wash this it's dirty um i've got to empty out the garbage can got some laundry in here i need to get a narrow hamper I'd like to find one that's like, I don't know, like this thick. I don't know if they'll make them. Maybe I could put the hamper over here. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, got to clean in here. I don't know if I'm going to end up getting to this shower door, but this shower door also gets really dirty and grimy. Got to clean these shelves because these get really dusty as well. Yeah, that is the bathroom. bathroom um i do need to fix that blind but whatever um this is all clean in here i washed all of the surfaces i washed there's like soap that spilled out on here the mirror is all clean i need to get a different hand towel still but all this is cleaned toilets clean shelves are clean i just have not done the glass here yet um maybe tonight <laughs> But I also vacuumed the floors and washed them, emptied out the garbage can, and I grabbed the towel so I could clean that as well. But this is a pretty quick and easy room to do. It only takes me like 10 minutes, but yeah. Nice and clean though, that bothers me. <laughs> okay, done. This is my bed. Um, I do have to take off all of the bedding and wash everything. There's some laundry here on the ground. That is actually clean, it's a comforter. I don't have anywhere to put it. So we just shove it there and sometimes pretzel lays down on it. That's just an empty bag and my suitcase, which is empty. So that's just kind of where that sits. I do have these clothes, which are actually clean. So they shouldn't be on the floor because the floor is so dirty. But a lot of that's just like my leggings and stuff that I just took out of the dryer. Um, and this is clean in here. So that won't be too much. But mainly it's like... Look at all of this dust. It just accumulates in here because we keep the fan on in here all the time. So it just brings all of the dust down onto the floor. So all of the, the surfaces in here need to get cleaned. The baseboards need to get cleaned. Um, and then I just have like, that's my alarm clock out and I've got a water. So just gotta clean off the nightstands, clean the bedding and uh, just get this nice and clean.
That's a back massager. Just getting it out in the open. It's a back massager. The bedroom is done. Um, I didn't have time to wash my bedding yet, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. I wanna do it before we leave so when we come home, we can crawl into nice fresh sheets. It's gonna feel so good. Um, but the main thing that I did in this room was the floors, and I feel like you can't tell, you can't appreciate it, but it feels so much different. I feel like especially over here with the sun coming in, like that was just full of dust bunnies and it's now just completely clean. It feels so good. Um, and yeah, this is what this looks like. I still have my suitcase and bag over there um, and the blanket. <laughs> As you can see, that's how like Pretzel makes a little hut. Um, and she just sits right in there, but that's where that blanket's just gonna stay for now, but everything else is nice and clean. Put my alarm clock away, my thermometer and remote away, and then I cleaned out this dish. This had like eyelashes in it and stuff. This is where I put my wedding ring, emptied that out. But yeah, this is the bedroom. I'll get a shot from over here so you can see the full effect. Nice and clean and empty. So here in our laundry room, this is all clean clothes that I have to put away. Um, I don't think I have, no, there's no more laundry in there. There might be some in the dryer. Yeah, so I have to empty out the dryer, put all that away and whatever that is. This is all clean, it needs to go get hung up. It's all of Ruben's Kuyu gear, which is like, I, I never put it in the dryer or anything. So it's just sitting here um, now that it's clean away from everything because I need to go put it downstairs. So just gotta put all of this away and then wipe down on the surfaces. Starry eyes and cellophane, she takes her walk, she makes her plans. A truck bails down the avenue, there's broken glass, a missing pew at church. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe time's too strong Are we falling further Are the lights to take us home When everyone is gone Are we breaking title To ask the question why We live and then we die I think I'm fine Maybe I'll write you from the other side Young when mom got cancer, here life comes on Dasher Dancer. Raised up his little sister on his own, he brushed her hair and watched her grow. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe time's not that strong. Are we falling further? Take us home and everyone is gone Are we breaking title To ask the question why We live and then we die I think I'm fine Maybe I'll write you from the other side Okay, so the laundry room is done everything is cleaned out i just have some stuff drying in the dryer right now but the countertops are clean the washer and dryer themselves are cleaned i cleaned like the top of them floors cleaned washed everything and everything is put away feels so good and then i did all of the hallway as well all of the floors are vacuumed and washed and then here in the bathroom um, don't mind <laughs> that our vanity is like a floating vanity, but We put a lot of stuff in it and it's not the best quality vanity. So it's starting to fall So Ruben has that there to keep it propped up so it doesn't fall down But mainly in here. I need to wash that towel. Um, we've got Clothes here to wash empty out the garbage can I need to clean the toilet and all of the surfaces got to clean that rug and the shower door. 
Um, this is all full of water stains. I'm gonna show you how I clean that. And then I just need to organize that. Um, just a random band-aid. This is a mirror that was in the filming room before that I need to go put. Um, I think I'm gonna put this downstairs in the office. Although it is nice here, it just blocks the window. Yes, we have our taped up blind. That's all I have to say about that. Gotta wash the mirror because this is really gross and dirty. My sink is really dirty. Got some toothpaste in there, so I gotta wash all this. As you can see, I've just got like, like that's dog hair from cleaning pretzel in the shower and then she runs around and shakes and just, it gets really, really dirty. So that's kind of just like the theme of the house right now is that it's just, it's not crazy messy, it's just actually dirty and gross. bathroom is done got the fresh rug it's washed I did all of the floors I swept and vacuumed in here trash is emptied laundry's gone I did all the baseboards wiped everything down and cleaned the toilet um, the main thing is the shower doors so what I did is took a shower and washed the inside of the doors with a loofah. And that just gets all of the grime off of the shower doors first. Then you can do it when it's wet or when it's dry, whatever. Then go in with whatever glass cleaning product that you have. I just use Windex and that's the result. It's totally clean. I have a couple of smudges there that I should just go back over, but I have a couple of smudges that I could go back over, but overall it's just like night and day different. Um, and then, love the clean rug. <laughs> then in here I just tossed some stuff. I washed this down, organized, got rid of the extra loofahs. Just took out any empty bottles and stuff. So cleaned off the countertop here, cleaned the mirror. So all of this is nice and clean. And yeah, that is the clean bathroom. All right, so that's everything. My house is all clean, it feels it feels so good. It feels really refreshing. You know how when you clean your house and you just get rid of all of the dust and grime, it just feels empty and just, that's how my house feels right now. It feels like I just got rid of so much dust, so much grime and junk and just like my fridge alone. I just went to fill up my water bottle and it just, it feels so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, seeing me clean my house, a little inspiration, a little motivation. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I have an office downstairs that is, I never show it because it ends up being 
like our storage area and we have so much stuff in there but i really need to go through and organize the shit out of it and also make it a little bit more functional so let me know if you'd like to see a video on that maybe creating a video will motivate me to actually like tackle it when i get home from this trip so i hope you guys like this please subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye